you. Stress and anxiety levels are at an all-time high due to COVID-19. People out of work, money is tight, and staying indoors all day with your kids isn't helping. Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell has more on how Californians are coping mentally. Fears about coronavirus, job losses, it's a stressful time, and experts say for some, it's taking a toll on mental well-being. I just want folks to know that staying at home doesn't mean you're alone. Governor Gavin Newsom expressing concern about the impact of the COVID-19 crisis on the mental health of Californians. Struggling because they lost their job and they don't have a paycheck. Struggling because their kids aren't at school. The state of California is providing resources, offering help to people who may feel stressed or depressed. In Southern California, D.D. Hirsch Mental Health Services is getting hundreds of calls on its crisis helplines about issues related to COVID-19. The number one issue is anxiety and stress. It's a really uncertain time for people, and it's a scary time right now, and we don't know when it's going to end. The streets of normally busy shopping areas are quiet. Adults and children unable to engage in everyday activities like going to the park or working out. Health officials urging people to avoid gatherings during the upcoming holidays. We have to find t ways to honor our safer at home order uh, and to be safe uh, while we're together emotionally but apart physically. Definitely reach out and monitor your own health, whether that is your mental health or your physical health at this point, and reach out for support. Be mindful every day of, of how you're feeling and what you can do to help yourself get through the day. The state of California has more than 15 hotline numbers and other resources offering emotional support. Amy Powell, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Not